Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mann and Michael Silati. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 6.10 from the chapter number 6. The problem is design a serial tools complementer with a shift register and a flip-flop. That means we have to use one shift register and one flip-flop for designing a two complementer circuit. The binary number is shifted out from one side and its two complement is shifted into other side of the shift register. One side of the shift register, the binary number we have to take out and from the other side we have to feed the two complement into the register. So for this design we have to use one shift register and one flip flop. So let us draw that first. So suppose this one is the shift register shift register so at one end we have to take out the serial out okay serial output serial output and at the another side we have to take the serial input suppose here we have the two complementer suppose y the serial output is x suppose then what we have to do we have to take this two complement and we have to feedback into this serial input here we have this serial input so as per the question the binary number is shifted out from one side and its two complement is shifted into other side of the shift register so here we have taken out this binary number and from the other side we have taken the two complement this y is nothing but two complement okay we have taken this two complement and feedback to this serial input so we have to use another flip flop also suppose this is d flip flop so here we have the d input and here we have the normal output Q. So the input of this D flip flop, what we will do? So we have to use a OR gate. Okay, I will explain later on. So we will, if we use a OR gate, the output of this OR gate will be connected to this D input. Okay, and the input will be one will be from this X output, that is bit output, okay, of the shift register, and the other input is this Q output of this shift register and the Q output of this D flip flop. So here we have this Q output initially reset to zero. Okay, that means the output Q is initially zero. First stage we have Q equal to zero and whatever be the data here, we'll have the, the input according to that data. Okay, so if it is X is zero, it will be zero. Okay, and the next step output also will be zero. Okay, if it is one, this D will be one and this Q also at the next step will have one value. Okay, now we will use here a XOR gate. So here we'll get the output Y. So this is the XOR gate. Okay, when Q is zero, this output Y will be is equal to this X. If that means if X is zero, that will be zero, zero input. So it will be zero. Okay, if X is one, 0 1 okay that will be the output will be 1 so this is the circuit diagram okay so when q is equal to 0 we will have y is equal to x okay because here we have used a xor gate okay so if q is equal to 0 so x this y will be equal to x and when q is equal to 1 this y is equal to x complement okay because when we have q is equal to 1 this is the xor gate if x is 0 it will be 0 1 okay that is output will be 1 that means that it is the opposite of x or inverted value of x when x is 1 this q is also 1 so what will have then 1 and 1 so output will be 0 that means the opposite of x therefore we have written here when q is equal to 1 y equal to x bar okay that is the complement of x so we can write that so we have q equal to 1 after the first x equal to 1 that means after getting the one value at this x output the q value will be 1 and x xor 0 is equal to x and x xor 1 is equal to x complement here we have seen that when q input is 1 this output is 
the opposite of this x value okay so this is the required circuit design here also we have to apply the shift control okay suppose if we have this shift control here shift control and this shift control parallel we have to give this to this clock input of this deep flip loop then this whole circuit will perform at the same time thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you